In 2019, we took you on the journey, a never before seen look into Chesterfield County Police training. Two years and thousands of views later, we kept getting the same questions. What happens after the Academy? It's the 79th Basic Academy's first week of field training, or FTO, the first 10 weeks of a new officer's career after graduating the Basic Academy. I'm Officer Alicia McNulty. I'm from Chesterfield. I went to Clover Hill High School and Liberty University. During this time, the rookie officer will learn on the job and from their FTO's experience. FTO is right out of the academy, you're out on the road, you're learning, um, and you've got an officer with you um, that is experienced, that knows what they're doing, um, that can kind of guide you along, um, make sure that you understand all the administrative processes, and then also make sure that you know the right thing to do and you're confident with your decisions, and um, just kind of be there to monitor you, make sure that you know what's going on, you know um, the best course of action in every situation. Early in today's shift, Officer McNulty and her field training officer are dispatched to a serious car crash in the Mosley area of Chesterfield. To be a Chesterfield police officer, um, that means that you've dedicated yourself to the community of Chesterfield County and you're going to do everything that you can to help these people through whatever their day has brought them and whatever, whatever kind of crisis or time of need or car accident or whatever's going on with their day, you're there to help and your primary responsibility is going to be Chesterfield County. FTOs are specifically chosen by the department based on merit and individual performance. Newly graduated officers train on all shifts, including midnights. I'm Officer Zach Clark. I'm from Chesterfield County, Virginia. I went to Matoka High School and then I went to Virginia Wesleyan University where I studied and got my degree in criminal justice. Um, first phase FTO is kind of getting your foot rolling, getting the ball moving because you're kind of still lost. Um, but this is where you're supposed to learn and you know take it all in from your FTO and just ask as many questions as you can. And just get a feel for what you're doing. As a field training officer, what you're expecting from a stage one recruit is just the eagerness of the job. This is the part where you get to come out of the academy and start applying everything that you've learned. It's going to every call you can, getting the experience, watching other officers interact with the community, applying things and experience that they've had, and then kind of absorbing that and turning that into kind of how you're going to mold yourself into an officer. You should take the good and the bad and turn that into what you want to be as an officer. Hey, sir, how you doing tonight? Hi, officer. Hey, man, I had you speeding back there on Walmsley. Uh, I apologize. I'm uh, not too familiar with the area. Not too familiar with the area? Where are you coming from, man? Uh, I come from Henrico. Just from Henrico? Yes, sir. All right, sounds good. Do you have your license registration on you? Uh, yes, I do. I do. You mind if I get that? Absolutely. And your approved insurance card, too, if you have it? Um, yes, I believe I have it. VSIN clear. NCIC clear. All right. You're going to write him a ticket? Um, no, I'm not today. Okay. Yep. What you're gonna do, come slow down. Alright, so here's all your paperwork back. Thank you. I want to say uh, thank you for your cooperation tonight. I'm not gonna write you a ticket for the speeding. Thank you. Just very do me much. a uh, favor and just slow down. Absolutely. And uh, be, be safe getting home, alright? Yeah, thank you very much. Officer. No problem. Have a better night, alright? Thank you. Yeah, I mean, that's ideal. Yeah. Obviously, you're positioning the light correctly um, so that your approach is good. I obviously signed my door, but you did well without signing yours. So. Zach um, has a very big heart. You can tell when he interacts with the community. He is very eager to learn about 
each scenario. He's asking questions beyond a first stage FTO, showing compassion, listening. He really seems to want to learn all facets of the job without any complaints or anything. He's just really a go-getter. Field training is strictly mandated by the Virginia Department of Criminal Justice and Chesterfield County Police Command Staff. Supervising the FTO program for the 79th Basic is Lieutenant Jeff Easton, Administrative Supervisor of Uniform Operations. Basically, what I want to see is if the recruits can take what they learned in the academy and apply it to the road. So uh, for stage one, uh, a lot of the work, probably about 80%, is going to be done by the FTO and uh, only 20%. So there's a lot of uh, questions that go on uh, on the recruits end. They're going to be uh, trying to figure out what's expected of them in FTO. So there, as far as I'm concerned, there aren't a lot of expectations. I'm just really trying to uh, formulate in my mind if there are going to be any problems down the road in later stages. Phase one FTO is good. I've been working for a few days now. It's very overwhelming. There's a lot of information. Um, I'm trying to take it all in. I'm trying to take it like one day at a time, one call at a time, um, and just make sure that I'm learning and absorbing everything that's being thrown at me because it is a lot. But um, it's been fun so far. It's been fun to um, be like hands-on in the community, um, helping people with their actual problems instead of in the training setting. Um, but it's been good. Phase uh, one FTO was Honestly, it was a lot. Um, at first, I didn't really know exactly what to expect. Um, I was expecting to go to a lot of calls um, outside of my beat, in my beat, make a lot of traffic stops, and that's exactly what I did. Um, I took a lot of reports, went to a variety of different calls, a lot of frauds, robberies, um, got a couple of DUI arrests, and um, overall, it was, it was a good time, a good experience, and I le definitely learned a lot so far. Uh, the 79th overall, I've been very pleased with them. Uh, they're right where they need to be uh, for where they're at in training. Uh, of course, mapping's always an issue for them, as well as for everyone. But other than that, I've been very, very um, pleased with their progress so far, especially with their attitudes and uh, eagerness to learn. All right, describe phase one in three words. In three words, describe phase one. Uh, great learning experience. There we go. Does that work? I did write you a summons for disregarding the stop sign. 